Welcome to Salcedo Paranormal. It is now uh, Wednesday, January 25th, 2023. And tonight I'm covering paranormal news. As always, you can find all the episodes of the show along with links to social media and other ways to contact me at the podcast page. That is salcedoparanormal.podbean.com. That's S A L S I D O Paranormal dot podbean dot com. Always happy to hear from you all whether you have comments or questions or topic suggestions or stories of paranormal experiences, whether they're your own or from others that you trust. Happy to either read those or have you join me on the show to talk about them. And uh, so quick reminder, tomorrow the plan is uh, another comic books in the paranormal episode. Uh, so that should be fun. That will of course be a longer episode than what I've been doing lately. And just a reminder for that, um, my my news and stories shows will be a little bit shorter than they used to be. And, um, but the 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 trade off is that I can do these kinds of shows basically every day. So um, without much difficulty, it takes me ten to maybe twenty minutes to find the couple of stories that I'm going to use for the show. So um, really excited about going keeping this thing going. Just all every day, um, not nonstop. So, and that's not. It's it's really overall. It's better. It's easier in my eyes, and and I'm always here anyway. So, just in case anyone wonders when you see shows this weekend, that's that's what's going on. I'm changing it up. Hopefully, the schedule changing it up one last time and keeping the time the same, but just going every day. And there'll be the six of these long shows per week usually, and then one longer show. And then, of course, some weeks we have two longer shows, depending on um, on how things go, you know, what we can arrange with uh, friends and guests, and all those things. So, um, but yeah, so tomorrow we'll be we'll be talking about comic books and the paranormal. So, and I'm looking forward to that one uh, with Derek, as always. And uh, so tonight I have two stories to share with you here, new stories um, from the news, basically, and. Uh, I've already put the links in the chat, and of course I will include them in the episode description, and so you can check them out for yourselves, because uh, I always just summarize these things and uh, let you all find the details just on your own, um, including pictures and videos as well are in these articles here. So, And uh, tonight I have a couple of uh, haunted locations here to talk about. <clears throat> so. And there are two of the there's two kinds of situations here that are pretty common types of of haunting air, haunted areas um, based on all the reports. And uh, so let me see here one moment, please. Okay, and um, this first one is from uh, knue dot com, and uh, the title is. Watch this spooky video from the Haunted Hotel in Jefferson, Texas. So, um, this is a hotel. It's the Jefferson Hotel. It's um, been around uh, for over 170 years and, and has served as other different, different kinds of buildings as well uh, when it wasn't a hotel. It says according to their own... Uh, website, the hotel, um, let's see here, is, has a lot of antiques within it, and uh, also, of course, it's said to be haunted. So, um, it used to be, at one point, a cotton warehouse in the 18, uh, let me see here, in the 1850s, and it also, of course, as some of these buildings going further back in time, uh, used to be, it used to be a brothel, of course, so. Um, but it's talking about here, this, uh, there are a lot of videos taken within the place, and, um, they're reporting to, uh, supposedly showing uh, paranormal activity. Uh, there's one video, it says, I think it has a link to it here, um, one video where a doll appears to move on its own, and, uh, and there's another video where, um, the owner of the hotel had his shirt 
uh, pulled or tugged down a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, it says the latest video from the hotel shows a rope that is apparently moving on its own. It says you can see no one around the rope when it starts to move. It says the owner thinks it looks like someone is uh, or someone went under the rope. And uh, the author of this account says uh, they just see it moving a lot. So, let's see here. But there doesn't appear to be anyone. Excuse me, there doesn't appear to be anyone in the area when it happens. So, um, just that these locations are always amazing to me, these hotels. Because, as we know, people go in and out of them all the time. And for various reasons, whether it's work or, or vacation. A lot of emotion going on, I'm sure, in these places. Um, and that can generate and leave a lot of energy and then if it's supposed to be ha supposed to be haunted and people know that going in there that is um that can also generate things as well so um let's see here yeah the um Matt, Hall, Matt has it right in the chat here the older the hotel the more energy the more likely to be haunted yeah and i think that that can be said for a lot of buildings but especially hotels any place like a hotel or like a hospital where you have people that are coming and staying and then leaving, I think um, that can generate energy. So, and then, um, and that can be, that can be, I think, a, an attraction or that can draw spirits there as well or other beings. I think that can draw them there as well. Um, especially if the place happens to be abandoned as this next location is. I think I um I think I've just done my first segue. Funny. Um or at least my first one that I recognize. This next one is from uh, don't mind me. I know what I'm doing, basically. Uh it's from Mix941 KMXJ. And this one says Is the abandoned <coughs> excuse me. Is the abandoned Joel? I'm not sure how you say that. Joel schoolhouse in Texas actually haunted. And um so apparently this um this place has been investigated um by paranormal researchers and uh apparently there's been activity. Um let me see here. Apparently uh it's not easy to find this house. Uh let's see here we go. Um, it says that it's, there's basically, it's nothing more than a, a shell of what it w was before. And, uh, it has pictures in here in this article. And, um, it says that recently the, uh, there's a group of, of paranormal investigators that, uh, read this author's, uh, story about the place, the previous story, apparently. And, uh. They said that um, they visited the area and said it's very active. And they have a lot of uh, footage, it says, that they have interacting with whoever or whatever is there. And it says some of that, that evidence has made it to YouTube. Um, and uh, let's see here. Got to scroll down. Uh, there's some these big spaces. I'm wondering if that's where pictures are supposed to be. Um, I'm in the immersive reader mode, so that could be causing that. But um, there were apparently lights being turned on and off by request. I'm guessing they mean flashlights, but I don't know for sure. Um, apparently, uh, voices recorded on various devices. And uh, has the um, link to this this group's channel, the ones that did the, the investigating. And uh, let's see here. So yeah, that's basically that article, but I always wonder about these abandoned locations. And again, I wonder if they can be uh, magnets to, uh, to um, be uh, beings, whether they're spirits of people or other beings, to just stay there. Um, especially when they're out of the way like that. I think it's a, 
there can be many reasons for there being activity in a place and and one it could be because of energy left behind in a place but i think also sometimes with these abandoned places it's somewhere to go where people aren't usually around um so that could explain that uh jane the chat here says the effort that was spent a long time ago was a lot more yes yes um may need to have uh we may need to do a show on that again at some point there jay i don't know one of these days um but i, I do agree i think we did a show on that a while ago actually now that i remember but yeah um so i think that there can be a lot of circumstances this is always why i wonder in these places not even so much in cases where there is a known event that happened that is said to cause paranormal activity but in more of these places that there isn't one single event or even a series of events um but there's still activity there so yeah um let's see here looking at the chat here thank you all for being here tonight uh comment man hello welcome to the welcome to the chat here says they or they used to stay there and they are either attached to the property or someone opened a portal and that's always yeah portals are definitely a thing i think um as well uh matt Sal says that's the same for unoccupied rooms usually the basement or attic that is very true so many stories of paranormal things happening in these rooms where people don't stay and um and then that's that's why there's activity there in some cases and i wonder i'm sure in some cases the whatever is there or whoever's there it doesn't even mean to to do anything to draw the attention to themselves but there's just accidents and or people are more sensitive in some cases and of course obviously there i think there are some cases where they do draw attention to themselves for interaction for various reasons um but uh yeah so i just thought it was a need to look at at different kinds of buildings here these two new stories about different kinds of places that are still said to be haunted but they're very different um types of places let me just scroll back and look and see if i missed anything in the chat um but uh, i don't think i did uh, oh yes i did um derek in the chat says sometimes i wonder if abandoned places re remain abandoned because of the knowledge that the location is haunted or has entities or something yeah definitely especially if it's owned by the powers that be that might know it's a portal or something yeah that's a whole that's a good point too i, I do wonder about that because it, it there's some places where it stays they stay um they stay empty for so long and you and you hear about well that's because of legal battles here or there but <laughs> getting a little bit conspiratorial here who's to say that there can't be people that arrange for these legal battles. Um, Derek also says there's some haunted buildings in my town that are owned by the mental hospital, but not actually near it, as if they just have that spot on lock because they know it's mystical or something. Yeah. Um, Comment man says some abandoned buildings are magnets for uh, rituals. Uh, yeah, uh, satanic rituals. And those also for a reason. True. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of different reasons. I think that could be, that may be a whole, a whole show in itself. Reasons for abandoned places being, um, just basically abandoned places. Uh, that could be a fun show, actually. May have to do that at some point. Um, but yeah. So that's all the new stories I have, but. This is what I like about doing these these shows this way. This a little bit shorter, less research. There's definitely um, there's definitely stuff to talk about, even just based on a couple of stories. So, especially when you have people in the chat. Like I said, thank you all for being here and listening live. Um, and then also, of course, as I always say, I want to thank everyone that doesn't uh, isn't able to listen live. Yeah, the show spawning shows. I don't know. It's, I have to look and see if I've done one on abandoned places. I don't think I have, at least not here yet. I think I did a show with um, Michael Strange over on Trouble Minds Radio talking about that, but I didn't do one here yet, I don't think. so. But, um, yeah, trauma-based residual energies, like an asylum, yep. So, um, but yeah, 
So we'll have to do that at some point. Maybe that'll be one of the long shows. And uh, so that'll be it for today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow um, with Comic Books and the Paranormal with Derek on the next episode of South Pseudo Paranormal. Thank you all. Take care. <laughs>